hello and welcome back to Vlada's Place. For those of you who are following us, you might remember our little Tahitian squash plant we planted this spring. Hi everybody, uh, it's November and this is one of the Tahitian squash that we grew earlier this spring. They come to fruitation in about um, August or September. So today is the day we're going to roast this beautiful baby and make a cream soup. So come on in, let me show you what it looks like inside. We're going to roast it and then we're gonna make a cream soup. For those of you who would like to make cream soup out of pumpkins or squash, you can visit our YouTube channel under Blattis Place and find the recipe. To me, Tahitian squash is the queen of all squash. It's very fragrant, very delicious, very sweet, and it has a nice creamy texture. And because it's so special, I make sure to save the seeds for the next season. And as you can see, this is very simple. Just remove the seeds from a plant or fruit, set them on a dry surface, and in this case, I am using a napkin, and then you're gonna allow seeds to dry in a dry and airy area for about a week. Then store them away and next spring you can plant them. So this is homegrown and homemade Tahitian squash soup. It's the same recipe that we have on YouTube on their pumpkin, homemade pumpkin soup. So if you would like to learn how to make your own, just go to Vlada's place and type pumpkin soup and the recipe will come up. Cream soup. And I'm just making these little toasts with some olive oil, fresh basil from our garden, and some mozzarella cheese. This will accompany our soup today. Dishes like these are both tummy and heartwarming. Squashes are packed with the great energy and great nutrients. Another good thing about squash is that it's so easy to grow. So maybe this coming spring you and your kids can plant your own squash. You can find more information on how to start a garden on our YouTube channel. I almost forgot to say that Tahitian squash makes an amazing pie. Thank you all for watching and until the next uh, recipe, please keep an eye on your public access television station and our family cooking program called Cooking and Kids. Also check out our charity under vladav.com whose mission is to help reconnect families and communities in America. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon again.